Well, Tiago, I guess just talk about maybe the, the last two fights, right? Frustrating, but against very, very talented guys that you were against. So I guess what are your thoughts after the, the two setbacks? You know, uh, I learned a lot from those fights, you know, uh, especially with Islam. You know, I think uh, I gave him a hard fight, especially if you see his last, last fights against Bobby Green and Dan Hooker, you know, that uh, he finished it easily, you know, so... I think I have a lot of potentials. Just uh, keep getting better, keep improving. I'm very young, also, you know. So I think, uh, yeah, I think that's the way, you know. Just keep improving, keep getting better, you know. You keep fighting. And uh, my last fight, I think, what I did wrong was about uh, didn't follow in the game plan, you know. Like look for the takedown and work my my grappling because the guy was so tall. So it's hard to punch like it is, you know. So. <laughs> Nice. So that's that's what I learned from those fights, you know. So I think it made me a better fighter. Nice. Uh, and then seven months off or so, I think, since. Was that by design? Did you want some extra time away? Or was it just the way the schedule worked out? I think just the way the, the schedule worked out, you know, for the UFC. So I'm always training. Like, after this fight, I'm going to, like, take a week off. And uh, I'll be right back to the gym. So I want to get back soon as soon much, as, much as possible. Nice. So when you have some time away... Uh, and your training, do you focus specifically on, like, what you learned in those fights? I mean, you'll probably never face a guy that tall again in your life, but, I mean, do you, do you focus on the lessons that you learned there? Yes, I, I, I focus on that also, but uh, I try to improve, uh, like, every aspect of the game, you know, like wrestling, uh, jiu-jitsu, and striking. That's, that's what I try to focus on the most, you know, like, just getting better every, everywhere, yeah. every day, you know. But uh, in the ATT, uh it's impossible to not get better, you know. You go so many good guys, you know, and everybody teaches you different stuff, and the coaches, is you just get better every day. Like you said, two talented guys, two very unique guys that you fought the last two times out. But is it difficult to remain positive or to remain confident to know how good you are? Is it, is it, it, do you have to, like, kind of check with yourself, or do, is it easy to believe in yourself still? No, I believe. I believe in myself. I know, I know how good I am, and uh, – I can't wait to go there and show the, the work that I've been putting those those months. Uh, talk about Christoph as, as an opponent. What do you think about him as a, as a fighter and, and how you match up? I think uh, he I think it's a really good matchup. Uh, he's very tough. He he had been there with uh, one of the best in the world. Also, you know, he fought like great names, and he's very well rounded. He can fight on the on the ground and he can strike also. Uh, yeah, I think it's a tough fight, but uh, I see me here winning this fight everywhere. Are you expecting it to be a, a tough battle, though? Because like you said, you both have fought some very, very talented guys. So are you expecting it yeah. to be a, a kind of a war? Yeah, I expect, I expect it to be a, a, kind of a tough battle, and I'm ready for a war for 15 minutes. Last thing for me, the goal here, obviously a win, but is it just is it is it a win to maybe silence some people that maybe are doubting you after two losses, or is it to prove anything to anybody or to yourself, or is this just about getting a win? You know, I just uh, I'm just focused on on getting a win. You know, uh, I don't think if I focus on that, it's gonna help me win this fight. So my focus is just gonna go there, and perform, give my best, and get back in the on get back on track. You know. <laughs> Tiago, um, Grant Dawson's here with you, and I just wanted your kind of your thoughts on him joining the American Top Team and how much of an asset he is now. No, he's uh, he was a great addition to the team. You know, uh, he has been a great training partner and a great friend also. So um, he was there for me like every training session, uh, every everything that I needed. Uh, he helped me get ready for this fight. So. Yeah, it was was great, and it's, it's, it's going to be great to have him also with my corner on Saturday so we can win, celebrate, and get back training on Monday. Awesome. Uh, and then finally, I just wanted your thoughts on, on the main event between Armand and Gang Gamrot. I know that uh, Gamrot trains at American Top Team. Armand was there a little bit. I just wanted mm -hmm. your thoughts on the matchup. You know, I think uh, I'm very excited for this match. You know, I think it's going to be a great matchup. Uh, I have I train with both guys, you know, uh, I trained more with Mateus uh, Arma. I trained with him also, but uh, uh, a few times. I think it's a pretty even match, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see that. I think Arma uh, could control, you know, use his wrestling to control, but uh, 
Mateo's also uh, he's a really good wrestler and uh, he has a great submission, so he could uh, use that to win the fight also. So I think it's a pretty even match. Were you surprised to know that Gamera is such a big underdog um, against Armand? No, I, I didn't know that. He's a big underdog. He, he's like a plus two hundred, plus three hundred right oh, now. That's 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 a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, in my opinion, I see this uh, um, as pretty even match. Gotcha. Thank you.